Let's talk about why we should not be using the number 2 in our math examples. So check this out. First off, we know that if we do 2 plus 2, this right here, the answer is just equal to 4. No problem on that, right? But notice when we add two twos together, this right here is the same as saying 2 times 2 because we are adding two twos together. And when we do 2 times 2, this right here is equal to 4 as well. Okay? Yeah. And now you notice when we have two twos multiplying together, you know it. This right here, it's the same as what? Yeah, we can write this as an exponent. So we have 2 raised to the second power. And this right here will also give us 4. Of course, same thing. And here is the little bonus part. You guys ready? When we have 2 raised to the second power, this right here, you see that this and number, these two numbers are the same. This is called titration. What we do is, we can put the 2 right here, and then we still have the base 2. Too many colors. 2. And this right here, it's equal to 4 as well. You see how confusing this is now? Everything is equal to 4 on the board. So the question is, what if a student is trying to do this? 2 to the second power, yes, this means 2 times 2. And yes, this means 2 plus 2. But it just doesn't deliver the operation like what they are exactly trying to do. So this is why I do not like to use the number 2 when we are doing like algebra examples or just math examples because these kind of things can cause confusions. So what can we do? Well, easy. Use 3. <laughs> well, maybe use 4. That, that's a whole. So for example, let's talk about what if we have 3 plus 3. This right here, of course, this is equal to 6. Then just go ahead and add them up, right? And um, now you see, if you want to talk about repeating addition, well, 3 plus 3 is the same as we have 2 of them, so we can say that's 2 times 3, and that will be equal to 6. So that's good, right? This multiplication means that we are going to add the 3 twice, right? 3 plus 3, like that. Cool. And uh, we really cannot say anything in terms of the exponents because this and that are different, so we cannot say exponents. But if you look at 3 to the... Well, if you look at 3 times 3, this right here... Right, so it's a different example now, right? If you look at 3 times 3, this means... Well, this will give you 9. And then, you know, this right here, we can use the exponent. So this is the same as 3 to the second power. So it does not cause confusion, right? I know it's, it might still cause confusion, but it's much, much better than that. Because here's the thing, when you do this, this 2 is much better to show that this means 3 times 3, which is 9. This right here, if you just put it down, it does not mean 3 times 2, right? Because this is a very common mistake when people see 3 to the second power. A lot of students will actually just write it as 3 times 2 and they will say this is equal to 6. But of course, this is incorrect. But if you use the number 2, it does look like we just do 2 times 2, which is 4. It's just a bad coincidence. 3 to the second power <laughs> means 3 times 3, which is 9. It does not mean 3 times 2. And uh, of course, if you guys want to know more about this, maybe I'll make another video on that. And uh, this right here is called the titration. So let me just indicate that right here real quick before we go. Titration. And this means repeated exponentiation, just like that. So just real quick, just real quick, if you guys would like, here's the question for you guys. Let me just put it down here. Question. Ready? All right, I use screen over there, so I will use screen here as well. What will be the answer to 3 here and then 2 here? Well, this means repeated exponentiation with the number 2. So you do 2 raised to the second power and then raised to the second power. And the way you do it is, you have to do this exponent first and then you do 2 to the exponent. And I am going to ask you guys to comment the answer down below and let me know what you guys get. Alright, that's it.